Okay. It's tasting time at the School of Wine in Dijon, where international students can take classes on French vintages taught in English. In this session, a full half of the pupils are Chinese, a growing population of students that make up a third of the enrollment at this establishment. In China, wine is more like luxury product. Yes, Chinese people like high price, high end wines. And when I talk to my friends, I I major in wine management. They say, "Wow, that's cool." So I think it's a job with respect. Yes. I think for most of Chinese consumers, um, French wine is the best. Is the best because. It has a long history and it's very famous in the world. So for Chinese consumer, we like French wine best. Another reason why I said it's really just... Teacher Steve Charters says he's seen the Chinese student population grow, not just in number, but also in knowledge over the two decades he's been teaching. We now have Chinese students who are um, often just as experienced, just as good tasters, just as knowledgeable as the French or the Americans or the Italians that we have. There's also some who are less good, but there is no distinction between the Chinese and the other groups. Students here are learning to describe wines in all their aspects and to identify their origins. A year of schooling here costs 13,000 euros. But wine school alumna and course organizer Gong Yang Ping says that with the growing taste for wine in China, it's no wonder so many see the tuition as a worthwhile investment. It's a profession that pays quite well in China. We have a huge market for wine in China, both for important and for local wines. So there are opportunities. That's why there are so many young people who come to France, not just to study marketing, but also viticulture and enology. After their year in France, most of these students will return home with their diplomas and plenty of savoir-faire, either to sell French wine or work in China's own growing viticulture scene.